Today we are going to be doing some blind contour line drawings of our hands. What you're going to need is two sheets of paper, one, two, some tape, and a pencil, and a timer. I think you could use the timer on your phone or a kitchen timer, microwave, anything will work as long as you can hear it. Now, you're going to take your two papers, stack them on the desk, take a little bit of tape, probably need about one to two inches, because you're just going to tape down all four corners of the paper. The reason you're going to do that is because you're going to be turned away from the page, not looking at it, and so you don't want the paper to be moving and sliding all around on the table. So contour line drawing. When we say contour line, generally mean the outside edge. So. If we're looking at my hand, this is the outside edge of my hand, so I'm going to be focusing on that. All these lines that I see in my, on the outside edges of every finger, the palm, the cracks that go in, you know, these kind of lines, those are the lines you want to focus on. That is contour line. Now there are three main elements that I want you to focus on while we're doing these drawings. Number one, you can need to draw very slowly. So if I'm drawing and pretend that this is where my eye is going on my hand, so that's where my pencil is going on the paper, the speed of my pencil should look like this. So you see how fast that pencil is moving? Very slowly. So you want to make sure that you're drawing very slowly throughout this. The reason for that is if I draw really fast, sketching out my fingers, I'm going to miss all of the little details that are going to make my drawing look realistic. So you want to draw very slowly. Number two, no looking. You are not going to look at the paper throughout the whole drawing. So turn your body away so that your eyes will not even be anywhere near this paper because you're not looking. The pro what you do, the product, is not important for these first couple drawings. What's most important is that you slow your brain down and focus on the details in your hand. And number three, don't stop. Throughout the whole drawing, your pencil will be on the paper. You're never going to lift the pencil off the page for the whole five minutes, okay? So not until that timer goes off can you lift up the pencil. Not until the timer goes off can you look at the paper, okay? The reason my pencil is going to stay on the page because my eye is going to stay on my hand. And wherever my eye goes, that's where my pencil should be going. So think of them as being connected, okay? Now you're going to do two drawings that are going to be five minutes long. So set a timer for five minutes. Put your pencil on the page. Pick a spot on your hand, and as your eye goes around, that's where your pencil's going to go. So I'm going to draw for a couple seconds. So maybe I'll just draw my thumb and show you how that should look, okay? But you should have your hand turned in the opposite direction so that you can't see the paper. But because of the camera frame, I'm going to do it inside. So I'm going to say if I'm beginning, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to trace around my whole thumb. So this is how the contour line should look for you. So this is about the speed that you should be moving when you're doing your drawing. So now I'm coming around Now if I want to go back and get those wrinkles that are in the middle of my thumb knuckle, I still have to keep the pencil on the page, so they're going to connect to there. So what you do in these first two drawings, 
doesn't matter. And when I say it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what they look like. Some people will end up with, you know, a final drawing that'll kind of look like that. And that's fine. Now, after we finished two separate five minute drawings, and you should unpeel your tape, flip the paper over, start with a new one each time. Then for your final drawing, you're going to do a 15 minute drawing of your hand, okay? Now, for the 15 minute drawing, you're still gonna draw slowly, you're still gonna keep the pencil on the page, you can lift the pencil up, that'll be fine. So you can, in this 15 minute drawing, you can lift your pencil up. And in the 15 minute drawing, you can look at the paper, okay? So when you draw your hand for 15 minutes, I want you to make sure you're folding so you get lots of wrinkles um, and you can see most of your fingers. Anything really flat like this is not really gonna work well. So it needs to be a folded up, relaxed hand. And so in the 15 minute drawing, you're going to draw all of the hand that you see, all the wrinkles, every single fold, knuckle, nail, hair, everything. Same thing as before for that 15 minutes, you're going to be drawing the whole time. And it should be 100% contour line drawing, so there should be no value. So do not shade anything in, do not color anything in, okay?